If you hadn't been following the news, but you follow Aaron Rodgers on X, and you saw his post yesterday, you probably wondered, what in the hell is going on? This is random. Out of nowhere, Aaron Rodgers says, as I'm on the record saying in the past, what happened in Sandy Hook was an absolute tragedy. I am not and have never been of the opinion that the events did not take place. Again, I hope that we learn from this and other tragedies to identify the signs that will allow us to prevent unnecessary loss of life. My thoughts and prayers continue to remain with the families affected, along with the entire Sandy Hook community. That is out there because in the aftermath, and this is like some weird movie treatment that would be thrown straight into the garbage can. The starting quarterback of the New York Jets potentially is going to be the running mate of Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as an independent in the upcoming election, an election they have no chance whatsoever of winning, mind you, but still it might happen. And so now that Aaron Rodgers is subject to a higher degree of scrutiny, Shireen, CNN reported that he's a Sandy Hook denier, that he said to Pamela Brown of CNN, at the Kentucky Derby in 2013, that it was a government inside job. And then CNN also reported, citing another source, an unnamed source, that Aaron Rodgers said it didn't even happen at all. And this is the sweet spot here. This is the thing that Aaron Rodgers didn't do. He didn't deny the part where he believes it's an inside government job. That isn't in that tweet. The only thing in that tweet is that he's... He's never said he doesn't think it happened. But he did say to Pamela Brown, it was a government inside job. And again, this is all ridiculous to be talking about. But he's the starting quarterback of the New York Jets. He's a four-time NFL MVP. He's a Super Bowl MVP. And he has said, we don't need any distractions this year if we're going to be successful in New York. And the fact that he went to X to post what he posted yesterday shows that all he has to do, and it would take 10 seconds, I am not a candidate for vice president. Enter. Send. Boom. Until he does it, it's a story. It's a distraction. It's weird. And I got nothing more to say. Mike, I can't speak for you because you have a law degree. I just have two mass communications degrees. But Aaron Rodgers is way smarter than I am. He's a highly intelligent individual. He hosted Jeopardy for Pete's sake. So I have so many questions on this. Is Aaron Rodgers just bat bleep crazy or is he just playing a game? Does he really believe what he says or is he really a conspiracy theory theorist? Uh, You know, I, I know some people just like stirring things up, but they don't believe really believe what they say. I don't know if he's like that or not, or I don't know if he really believes everything that comes out of his mouth, but it is crazy what he is doing, what he has done. Um, and, and he is a huge distraction. And he was last year to the Jets. And so to go and say that we don't need distractions and then to do all of this stuff, I, I don't get it. I, I don't know what the point of all of this is. I don't know why he's doing this to be a candidate for for RFK. I, I I just don't understand why and how all this is playing out. And if he is truly the vice president candidate, does does he stop playing football? It's just the whole thing's just so weird. I think the Jets aren't taking it seriously yet. And he's off the grid, so it's not like anyone can find out exactly what he's thinking. I believe that there's a chance this is just a publicity stunt aimed at boosting the RFK campaign, lending Aaron Rodgers' name to it for a couple of weeks to get people to take it a little more seriously. And then when March 26 rolls around, someone else will be named. I feel like that's where this is going. But he's still in play. Until he says he's not, he's in play. And supposedly... RFK already knows who his choice is. And at the top of the list is Aaron Rodgers and Jesse Ventura. Now, it's going to be perceived that Rodgers lost out to the former pro wrestler and former governor of Minnesota if he doesn't tap out before. Maybe he taps out the day before. Maybe he taps out the morning of. But I feel like this is just a way to help RFK Jr. And it's also a way to attach Aaron Rodgers' name to this political universe so that if he does it in the future— 
we don't have that initial what the hell is Aaron Rodgers doing getting involved in politics because he's already broken down that wall or at least taken a, a preliminary sledgehammer to it and cracked the bricks a little bit. So I can understand why he's doing that. But on the conspiracy theory side, you know, you raise a good point. Is he a true believer or is he a grifter? Does he think that pushing this stuff is going to attract a following for him or does he truly believe it? And I think that he's a true believer who got to the point where he no longer feels like he should keep this stuff to himself. And he took that heel turn, depending upon your perspective. I guess for some to say he took a champion turn. For some, it's like, what's, you know, we liked Aaron Rodgers better when he was worried what everybody thought about him because then he didn't say all this crazy stuff. So I, I feel like the play for Aaron Rodgers in politics is post-career. I think this is just a way to make it not seem outlandish when he finally does it. I am so hoping, Mike, that he is the VP candidate and thinks he can do both because those Wednesday press conferences will be golden with Aaron Rodgers. Here's the thing. There's no way he can play at, and, and run the right way. Is he going to give up $36 million to run for office on a losing ticket? I don't think so. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.